It's old. It's dark. It has a very Googleable name. Today we're drinking Bishop's Finger. Hi guys, it's Jim here from drtangenstein.com with another episode of Beers of the British Isles. This is a series where I scour the aisles of supermarkets all across Britain to find you the best beers to drink. On today's episode, we're drinking kind of a special beer. We're drinking, uh, you know, a bit of an oldie. I've put on a, a nice collared shirt just for the occasion. Today we're drinking Bishop's Finger by Shepherd Neem. Now, this beer was first brewed in 1958. It was brewed as a celebration for the end of rationing. It's still, however, only £1.25 for a 500ml bottle of a 5.4% beer from Asda, if you want to grab yourself some. So I guess the tradition and the modern era and capitalism don't quite gel, but quite an impressive story. And Quite an impressive name. Um, Bishop's Finger, I think, I feel like this was the beer that started that whole kind of, you know, uh, what's your what's your Cascale name? What's your real ale name? Bishop's Finger is a pretty bizarre name, isn't it? Now, if you Google Bishop's Finger, then you'll be, you may come across an Urban Dictionary article that will either make you respect or hate the brewers of this fine beer uh, in, in uh, my, 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 give them some street cred that they don't quite deserve. Um, the real name, the, the real story behind the name of this beer is that in Kent, now uh, Shepherd's Name are based in Kent and they're very into Kent, uh, there are signposts that stick out the road uh, that lead the way to Thomas Beckett's uh, tomb. And they're called Bishop's Fingers. So this this beer was named after them, as it's an homage to those those signposts that I guess are, are famous. I've never been to Kent. I don't know. Now, if you read the if you read the bottle of this beer, um, it's just Kentish strong ale. I feel like every beer that Shepherd Neem make is a Kentish strong ale. But the real designation, or the I guess the technical designation of this beer, is an extra special bitter. So with an extra special bitter, you well the difference I guess between a bitter and an extra special bitter is you can you can expect a little bit more strength. Like I said, it's five point four percent. Average bitter should be about three and a half percent, and therefore there should be a little bit extra kind of dry hopping or at least a little bit more bitterness to it. Uh, there's very little information about the recipe behind this beer, but I think you can kind of guess what's in there. If EKG, East Kent Goldings, isn't in this beer, they've really missed a trick on this one. Uh, but, I mean, we can see it through the bottle. A mouse watering. Let's get in there and find out what it tastes like. So, a temperature update. This was in the fridge until about an hour ago. And then I took it out of the fridge because I wanted it to warm up a little bit. I wanted it to be cold because it's a, you know, it's, a, it's an extra special bitter. So there's gonna be some hop, hop aroma to it. In fact, there should be hop aroma to it, but all that caramel, treacle, toffee flavor that I'm expecting is gonna be in there, it's gonna come out a little bit, a little bit warmer temperatures. So, I mean, the first thing you notice with this beer is the colour. You can see the colour through the bottle because it's a clear bottle, um, but the colour is great. You know, it's very, it is, it's a ruby beer. It, it's real red in colour. It looks kind of brown at a distance, but once you, uh, once you hold these lights up to it, you can really tell that it's ruby. Um, when you open the bottle, you, you can smell it straight away. The, the aroma just escaped. And yeah, it's a very, it's a very English aroma. Yes, so 
it's kind of that uh, sort of spicy hop aroma. Um, you get it met with it's not not really the you know British hops are either floral or spicy. This is this is kind of spicy. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I already knew what that tasted like. Like I say, that spicy hop aroma, that spicy hop flavor that just kind of coats your mouth. Very well bittered for an extra special bitter. Um, very well bittered. Um, and it has that, it has that malt character where, you know, as soon as it hits your mouth, you know, that's caramel, sweet, sugar. But then there's nothing, that, nothing to chase it away. So now, kind of just left with it so now i just have to kind of keep drinking it just to uh just to chase it away um if you like this sort of thing then you'll love this it's a it's a great example of that nice and sweet a lot of malt kind of on in the wings there um and yeah Hop character jumps right out of the bowl. This brewery, Shepherd Knee, uh, they say they're Britain's oldest brewery. I haven't done the research on whether they are or not. Um, but uh, if you if you look into it, they were they were founded in 1694. Uh, they've been owned by the same family since the 1800s. You know, that's older than some countries in the world. That's pretty amazing that this that this brewery, whatever form it's in, is still is still alive and kicking. Shepard I like to call them the Kevin Bacon of breweries. Because whether you know it or not, you've definitely had one of their beers. They do a lot of like contract brewing, you know, you do six degrees of Shepherd Neem. Uh a lot of contract brewing um, for for sort of supermarkets and and, and things like that. Um, but that doesn't mean that they're any less of a brewery. By the way, they they make some absolutely fantastic beers. Uh, there's one in particular I'm thinking of that I'll probably do an episode on at some point, so I won't mention it. But they 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 do have some real 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 tasty tasty beers. Okay, so how am I gonna sum this beer up then? I feel like I've maybe been a bit un unfair to it. Um, so just, just the facts, first of all. Nice, deep, ruby color. You know that because it's in a clear glass bottle. I don't know, I have something against those. Should come in a brown bottle, really. Um, but it doesn't seem to taste light struck anyway, so. Okay, the aroma jumps right out of the bottle. That kind of, you know, traditional spicy kind of lavendery aroma uh, just jumps straight out the bottle as you open it, um, and you know, and you can still smell it. Nicely bittered, you know, lovely and sweet, super well balanced. It hits every corner of your mouth. Um, what I will say is that this this beer, I think, doesn't belong in a bottle. It belongs on cask. I want to see someone, you know, I want to see someone pulling this, putting all their strength into pulling this into a pint glass for me. And I think that that's how this beer is supposed to be drunk. Um, that I mean. It's it's fine as it is, but you know none of the none of none of the benefits of bottling a beer, you know, carbonation, freshness. They they don't benefit this at all. You you want this as a pint. That being said, if you don't have access to it on a pint, just go out and get it. Because if if you like this kind of thing, if, if you like bitters, and if you like Kent, because these guys do, then you know then you'll love this because it's a good 
it's a it's a good bitter. Um, I just think it's I think it's wasted in bottles, but that's up to you to decide. Those are the facts. Ruby, decently carbonated, good body, lovely and sweet, nice and bitter. I'm not going to rate it out of ten. If I was to uh, describe this beer, not in song, I'm not going to sing. If I were to, if this beer were a song, it would be Book Rogers by Feeder. It's an interesting song. I can listen to it. I can listen to it any time of day. Put it on. I'm game. I'll even sing along. But it's got a weird name. And that's how I feel about this beer. It's fine. It's a song. It's any song. I'll drink it. It's, it's got a weird name though. Um, if you like this kind of thing, head down to uh, head down to Asda. One pound twenty five for a five hundred ml bottle. See what all the fuss is about. Um, definitely Google the name. Um, and if you like this, if you like this beer, head down to your local bottle shop. Head to anywhere and there are Shepherd Neem beers on. But if you like this one particularly, head down to your local independent bottle shop and they'll have examples of extra special bitters that'll just have you cozying up next to a fire. Until then guys, cheers. <laughs>